हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सुषमा जावा ट्रेनर वेलकम टू मैग्निक सॉफ्टवेयर सो इन दिस फील्ड आई एम हैविंग टोटली एट इयर्स एक्सपीरियंस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट बफर रीडर क्लास सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज बफर्ड रीडर क्लास so by using this buffer reader class we can accept the values from the keyboard so where it is present in it is present in java dot io package io is nothing but input output and here java indicates that it is a root package and io indicates that sub package in this sub package we are having buffer reader class so by using buffer reader by using buffered reader we can accept we can accept values from the keyboard from the keyboard one by one so this is nothing but buffer reader class but before going to buffer reader class first of all you need to know the definition of a stream so what is a stream stream is nothing but a flow of data stream is nothing but flow of data for suppose if you are taking any example some water tank is there so if you want to send the water from one place to another place we are using pipes by using pipes we are sharing the water from one place to another place in the same way stream is nothing but flow of data you are sending the data from one place to another place by using string it is of two types it is of uh, two types so how many types of streams we are having two types so the first one is input stream the first one is input stream input stream is nothing but read or receive the data read or receive the data the data which is coming from another place it will be read or it can receive it so then we are calling it as an input stream second one is nothing but output stream second one is output stream so write or send data to another place write or send data to another place then we are going to call it as an output stream so when we are using buffer reader class so let us see the small diagram how the data is transferring from keyboard to buffer reader class object so let us assume this is a keyboard so you need to take a accept your data from the keyboard so system dot in is nothing system is a predefined class in is nothing but a instance object of the print stream so now whatever the data you are taking the data will be passed into input stream reader already we have discussed it is a complete class called input stream reader input stream means whatever the data you are taking either it can read the data or it can receive the data whatever the data you are taking from the keyboard that will be send it to the buffer reader class so buffered reader object buffered reader class so now what is the syntax to represent buffered reader class so let us see the syntax how we can write down buffer reader so buffered reader buffer reader br is equal to new buffered reader of new buffered reader of new input stream reader new input stream reader of system dot in 
system dot in so this is the syntax to represent your buffer reader class so you are taking you are accepting your data by using system dot in then you are passing the data into the input stream reader this input stream reader can send that data to the buffer reader object so this is the syntax but when we are using buffer reader class it will throw an io exception so if you are giving instead of uh, integer if you are giving float instead of float if you are giving any string so it is going to throw an input output exception so now i have a methods so when you want to take any data from the keyboard first of all we have to know the methods what are the methods present in the buffer reader class so let us see the methods one by one the first method is nothing but read method read is a method which is used to accept single character to accept a single character so when you are going to accept a single character then we are going to use a read method so next second one read line method read line method so by using this read line method we can accept see to accept string string is nothing but single line string single line string only one line of string will be accepted by using read line method so next to third one if you want to take any integer value from the keyboard then we have to use a method called integer integer dot fars int integer dot fars int of br dot read line method so this is the method to accept an integer value from the keyboard next if you want to take any float value float dot you need to take here fars float of br dot read line method so when you want to accept any float value float is nothing but see integer is nothing but either it is a positive value or negative value so it will take like a student id uh, employee id when you want to take any id of the particular employee or student then we can use integer or we can use a float for example price okay salary so when you want to take your salary and the price then we are going to use float data float method okay next fifth one double double type of data double dot fars double of fars double of br dot read line so float also decimal point value double also decimal point value then what is the difference between them in interview they will ask you a question like what is the difference between float and double okay float is nothing but after decimal point it can accept up to six decimal places but coming to double data type it is going to accept after decimal point 15 decimal places so if a, if any interviewer ask you what is the main difference between them why we are not using float or why we are using double then we need to answer like this in float after decimal point it can accept to six decimal places but in double we are going to accept after decimal point 15 places okay 15 decimal places now sixth one long for if you want to accept any long value then we have to use long dot fars long of br dot read line so this is the method to accept a long value from the keyboard so long where we can use long for example if you want to accept any phone number or bank account numbers integer range is not enough so that is the reason i am taking long long method okay this method i am taking for suppose if you want to take any short value then short dot fars short of br dot read line so these are the methods that you can accept a values from the keyboard okay so let us see uh, one program how we can represent a buffer reader class so read and read line methods will throw an exception so instead of if you are given already i said you instead of giving any integer if you are giving any float instead of a float if you are giving any string so it is going to display an exception called io exception or if you are forgetting about io exception the exception is the super class for all exceptions so you can mention throws exception class 
now we will see one program on buffer reader class so let us see how we can write a program so see here guys first of all i want to accept a student details so student details can contain id name some marks gender so that is the reason i am taking here student details okay i want to take a student details from the keyword by using buffer reader class okay so let us see first of all if you are writing any program in java so we need to write on class class name so i want to take class name like student you can take any class name not only student either input or any class name you can take next we need to write down the main method so public static void main of string args this is your main method so when you are writing any buffer reader class first of all we need to import a package called import so here i am writing import see whatever the packages you are representing in java all the packages you should be represented on the top of the program so import java dot io dot star so this is the package you need to import when we are using buffer reader class and i already said you when you are using buffer reader class it is going to throw an exception so that is the reason i am writing here throws io exception what we are writing throws io exception if you forget about this exception so you need to mention as a exception class why because exception is a class it is a super class for all exception in java now i want to write down the buffer reader syntax so buffered reader buffered reader br is equal to this is the object name this object name you can give anything br br1 or re any object name you can give new is a operator by using this operator you are creating a object to your buffer reader class as br new buffered reader of new buffered reader of new input stream reader new input stream reader of system dot in of system dot in so this is the syntax to represent your buffer reader class now first of all i want to accept the student details so that is the reason i am writing system dot out dot print ln of print ln of enter id why because a student can contain id so that is the reason i am taking here id so if you want to accept a id from the keyword we need to use a method call int id is equal to what is the method integer dot integer dot parse int of br dot read line so by using this method you are going to accept a id value from the keyword now i want to accept a student name so system dot out dot print ln of now we need to accept a student name so that is the reason i am writing system dot out dot print ln of enter name so if you want to accept any string type of data from the keyword first of all we have to use a primitive data type like string type string data type and you are declaring a variable name like name and br dot read line method so by using this method we can accept a name from the keyword so next i want to take student gender so system dot out dot print ln of enter gender what we are going to take here enter gender so gender is a character type of data so either it is a male or female m or f so that is the reason i am taking here character called char ch is nothing but a variable to store the character which we are giving from the keyword equal to char br dot 
read method so by using this read method you are accepting a character from the keyboard now i want to print id name and gender okay or you can you can give any variable guys for me to remember easy so that is the reason i am writing here gender so now i want to print id name and gender onto the console screen so that is the reason i am writing system dot out dot print ln of so i want to take here see guys here i am using print ln or print i want to use print means it will print the string onto the screen but the cursor will be remaining in the same line if you are using print ln print ln means it will print the string onto the screen but it will throw the cursor to the new line that is the difference between print and print ln so every time you need to print id in different line name in different line gender in different line so that is the reason i am taking print ln so now i would like to take here student name student id first of all we need to give id of the student right so that is the reason the student id plus plus is nothing but a symbol for concatenation for the given string so what is the variable we have given for integer data type id so you need to print here id variable in the same way you need to take here system dot out dot print ln of student name student name now i would like to print student name so plus name whatever the name variable see guys when you are printing any value onto the screen we need to give here whatever the variables you have declared to print the data onto the screen so here i have given id variable so that is the reason id i am printing if you are giving here a name variable so that is the reason here also you are giving name for suppose you are giving here name if you are giving here name one so it is going to display an error why because variable name is wrong next i would like to take here system dot out dot print ln of if i want to print gender so student gender okay you need to print the gender is a male or female or not what is the variable i have created gender so g n so this is the way so main method is closed and class is closed this is the way we can write down buffer reader class so not only student details it may be employee details it may be customer details based on your requirement by using this methods we can implement buffer reader class so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe magnic software